The original Fire Into Freddy's game revolutionised the gaming scene, as it broke the barriers on what horror games had to be. Instead of running away from a threat, you were trapped in a single spot and had to block out the threats with doors. But what if you couldn't use these doors? Well, in this video, that's what I'm going to find out. Is it possible to beat Fire Into Freddy's 1 without using the doors? So what are the rules? Quite simple. See the doors? Yeah, I can't use them. Everything else from using the lights to the cameras is allowed, but I am not allowed to use the doors at all. So let's get started with Night 1. Night 1 is pretty much the tutorial night, and as such, nothing really happens. So now will be a good time as any to explain how this game works to anyone who doesn't know. In Final Fantasy Freddy's, you work as a security guard and have to survive from 12am to 6am from four animatronic threats who are on their way to kill you. However, not to fear, as you can see them on the camera and if they get too close, just block them out of the door. Oh wait, we can't use them. So how do we win this challenge? Well, it's quite simple. RNG. Every couple of seconds, the animatronics will get what we call a movement opportunity. And when this happens, a random number will be generated, which will then be compared to the character's AI level. If this number is less than or equal to the animatronics AI level, then the character will be allowed to move. However, if this number is greater than the AI level, then the animatronic will not move. So basically, if Bonnie has an AI level of one, he has a 5% chance to move on every single movement opportunity. As the nights progress, this will become harder and harder. But night one is easy. In fact, even though Bonnie made it to the door, I still beat the night. However, this will not happen a second time. Night 2 introduces one character who makes this whole challenge a living hell. Without this one character, we could just sit down and do nothing. But because of this one character, we have to suffer. And that is Foxy. Foxy requires you to look at the camera to prevent him from running down your hall. Basically, if you don't look at him, he will just come and kill you. But Jerakai, what does that have to do with no doors? Just watch Foxy on the camera and he will never get to the door. Yeah, okay, but what about these two? Bonnie and Chica don't care if you're looking at them on the camera and will come to your door regardless. If they get there and we don't shut the door on them, they will disable it. And the next time we go into the camera, after about 30 seconds, they just force your camera down and kill you. Meaning that you cannot hide in the camera or even look at the camera once they get to the door. And if that happens and 6am isn't just around the corner, well, Foxy will pay a visit. This means that the RNG becomes extremely important and a lot of luck is needed to beat any upcoming nights. However, I only died once on night 2 after beating it. The characters don't move that much and Fox's AI isn't high enough to reach you if you can make it to about 4am. So yeah, easy dubs. Night 3 is where everything gets stupidly difficult. For the first 2 hours, you only really have to worry about Chica and Foxy as Bonnie for some reason is deactivated on this night until 2am. But that doesn't stop Chica from moving to your door at 12am and camping. Night 3 is where things get real, as the phone guy says. Animatronics move way more and as a result they are more likely to show up to your door, which if it happens before 4am, you just have to accept that you've lost. I died more times on night 3 than ever before. But something about this night makes it possible. Although it does require a ton of luck, it's power management. The main strategy throughout this entire challenge. Obviously, you need to manage your power in the game normally, but what the game doesn't tell you is just how much power actually drains depending on how you use the utilities. Because it just so happens that if you use two bars of power constantly on night three, you will reach 5am by the time it runs out. Meaning that if you time it right, you can make it to that 5am, then you can stall until the power runs out and eliminate any chance of Foxy killing you since from this night onwards the chance of him killing you within 30 seconds to about a minute is stupidly high. And it only gets worked. So this is the strategy for night 3 and onwards. By 1am have about 80% power, by 2am have 60%, by 3am have about 40% and by 4am you want to have about 20%. By 5am you want to have at least 10-15% to power and then at this point, you're gonna just wanna pray and maybe check once or twice on Foxy before completely stalling by 5% and just praying. And yeah, that's pretty much the strategy. However, obviously beating this still requires a ton of luck. And it took me a quite a few attempts to actually beat it since Bonnie and Chica kept showing up to the door at like 1 a.m. But eventually, luck was on my side and we got the dub. Now, night four is definitely harder than night three. But somehow, I got ridiculously lucky with the animatronics. They never shut up to the doors once, and as a result, I beat it entirely on the first try. So yeah, a ridiculous amount of luck that is definitely never going to happen again, as afterwards I messed around and yeah, no, death's not happening again. So, 
Anyways, I'll take the freebie. On to night five. Night five, the final challenge. We are so close to the end. Let's get it done. Okay, what's going on? Night 4 was an absolute breeze. Why can't I beat Night 5? Well, to figure out why that is, let's look at the AI levels. Surprisingly, it's not Foxy that's the issue on this night, with his AI being slightly lower than Night 4. However, the real issue with this night is Bonnie and Chica. Night 4 was just a massive fluke, and it probably would have been just as hard as Night 5. I just got really lucky with them failing a lot of movement opportunities and going backwards, with Chica constantly retreating after getting to my door. However, Night 5 has Bonnie and Chica starting at their most aggressive they were on Night 4. Meaning that by 4am, Bonnie and Chica are basically moving every second movement opportunity. Obviously, the math isn't perfect, but they have more like a 33-40% to 40 chance to move compared to a 5% chance on Night 1. And considering just how long the nights in this game are, making it through the entire night without having Bonnie or Chica show up to your door is... Well, nearly impossible. The furthest I got with one of the characters showing up to the door was 3am, and that was after multiple attempts. And considering with Foxy's AI that he is guaranteed to kill you after about 60 seconds, if you get lucky, you literally need to be halfway through 5am to even have a chance. With how quickly these characters show up to the door, the chance of it happening was so minuscule. So, is this challenge impossible? Well, I wasn't giving up that easily. I spent all day on this challenge. The first four nights took me about two hours, but I had spent nearly 10 hours on this challenge on night five alone and was absolutely exhausted. But I decided one more attempt before I went to bed for the night. And then this happened. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's so fucking. I was so fucking close. No shot. I got so close only to fall short. But I figured luck was on my side, and so I went once more. This is actually the most lucky I've ever been. Not one character showed up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Foxy won't fucking come. Oh my god. Please, for the love of god. I beg you for daddy. Don't, don't come kill me now.
kings in the kitchen. <laughs> I had done it. Now granted, this was extremely lucky and there's no shot I could ever do this again, but it was done. The entire challenge is basically RNG, so it is possible. And no, I'm not doing night six. Fox's AI is way too high. He is guaranteed the kill after 30 seconds. So anyways, with all that being said, it is officially possible to beat Final to Freddy's one without using the doors. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be thanking all my subscribers personally at 10k, so make sure you secure your spot in that list. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.